Yo, Chuck, what's the move, man? Yes, the rhythm, the rebel. Public enemy number one. 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 What is game? Who got game? Where's the game? Where's the power? <laughs> The biggest missing aspect of hip hop is the infrastructure and the administration of it and the caretaking and the knowledge of it and the, and the selling of the art form instead of the selling of the product. I think artists, when they look for rewards, it's the beginning of the end. And most artists are trained to look for uh, reciprocal rewards. I think it's the essence of a rap artist to almost be like a jazz cat. I did something great. And I'm gonna throw it back at you and 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 <laughs> strap it to a <laughs> strap it to a grenade and blow it all up. Jazz Cat has the audacity to do that because you know why? Because they know their art is profound and they know when they perform, you can't do that. The daringness of jazz has made it stand the test of time worldwide. You know the artist's gonna do their thing, and you get with it or you don't. They'll tell you to go to hell. Miles Davis will tell you to go to hell. Rap artists seem to not tell you to go to hell as much. They seem to beg for your sympathy, pity, and acceptance. And I think we came out of the, out of the area of like, you know, this is what it is. You don't like it? Hell with you. When we perform it, we don't fuck you up, you know? That's the biggest difference. I think that's developed over the last 20 years that rap and hip hop as artists, because of lack of infrastructure, has gone soft to almost pleading more than a love song. Please love me. Please love my work. Please give me acceptance. Please let me get rich. Just trying to please its surroundings, trying to please somebody all the time. And I just think that's, to me, it's just Sammy and Uncle Thomas. So many of us in limbo, how to get it on. Uh, it's quite simple, three stones from the sun. We need a piece of Going into at least 2013 is a three year, two and a half year plan to, to actively be visible through other areas than other than the expected. We're an artist who actually have an institution and a legacy that we have to always kind of, you know, muscle up without dipping into doing something criminal. Because that's what, you know, record labels use for the last 15 years for publicity. Oh, you know, we have no way to promote this artist, but you know what, they got locked up, okay. <laughs> free, free publicity and gets me off the hook. So, you know, the p police blotter has been the default marketing area of record labels for rap music for the last 12 to 15 years. That's laziness. Fear of a Black Planet was the beginning seed that dealt with this situation like, okay, I'm black here, don't treat me like I'm less, <laughs> you know? And, okay, all right, now you, you're equal, now what? <laughs> you know, so. The aftermath of all that started to develop over the last 20 years. I think the challenge is, is that in this 20th year, um, performing it for the first time from front to back, because there's records, just like it takes a nation, there's records that have never performed. But um, I think um, it's a good challenge to take on right now. If you can't remember some songs that you wrote that meant something to somebody else that remembers those songs, then you're, you're just lazy, so I don't need to be that. I need to honor, salute, and respect that record. That's going to be the push, you know, for, for myself and, and see if we can make that statement here in 2010. Wow. <laughs>